There are people who donate 200 naira, and it makes a lot of difference to me because if someone donated 200 naira or 100 naira or 500 naira, that's probably all they have. And they're investing in your political philosophy or agenda. Uh, something they think will bring back the kind of support that they look for. It's like investment in hope. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are hoping that this country will change and they're making that investment. They take us serious enough to be afraid that, uh, you know, they don't want us to be in a debate. Uh, even, uh, if they didn't take me serious, they would have gladly allowed me to come and debate and uh, the debate would have become a non event. But they know there's no way I'll be at the debate. And, uh, it will not spark uh, a lot of conversation that uh, otherwise don't happen in the country. People talk about often concerning politics is you have to have a structure on the ground and you have to have people manning, manning polling booths in every polling point and all those things. Um, with the kind of money that you're talking about, you probably may not be able to we're talking that about money that reached, uh, reached us. We're not talking about money that has been invested directly. A lot of people are volunteering their vehicles, houses. We have representatives everywhere. For us, for you to become a political party in Nigeria, you must have representatives in at least 25 states. We have that already, and we've doubled and tripled and quadrupled that. We have people everywhere. We have polling agents who have volunteered and that we're processing as we speak. So a lot of people are on our side. Uh, I'm just telling you transparently how much we've raised that has come to our own wallets, and uh, which is what is spoiling our travels around the country. And I will tell you here that I have been to more places in Nigeria in the last nine months than the president of Nigeria has been in the last four years. Even though I don't have a private jet, <laughs> he has got nine. Okay. Uh, listeners, you can join this conversation by calling 0818-999-1011. 0818-999-1011. And our guest this morning is Omoyele Shore, presidential candidate of AAC. Now, um, there was... Uh, this issue that was reported in the media, mm -hmm. okay, the call came in just now, so. Uh, there was this issue that was reported in the media that uh, you actually said that you are going to legalize um, marijuana, cannabis, and mm. things. Can you clarify? No, I didn't say I would legalize marijuana. I spoke at a head fair in Abuja here that... Uh, Instead of burning marijuana, we could export it to countries that are looking for that. Marijuana has become recently uh, gold. And uh, just as I was finishing that statement about two weeks later, Canada was legalizing marijuana. South Africa legalized marijuana. Ghana also started putting in place a framework for exporting so marijuana. will you legalize marijuana? We will export marijuana under our government. And let me shock you for that. The Undo state government is having conversations secretly with marijuana uh, growers to export marijuana. Marijuana will bring in nothing less than $4 billion to the states growing into Nigeria. Every year, the NDLA burns $1.5 trillion Nara water of marijuana. Okay. What are we wasting our resources on where we could make money off of it? Okay, let's let's take a call. Good morning. Hello? Is it still there? Hello? Good morning. Okay, keep calling. The number is zero eight one eight nine 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 one zero one one and our guest is Omoyelu Shivore. Um Presidential candidate AAC. Hello, good morning. Good yeah, morning, how are you? Very good, very good. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is uh, Chukwode Kalo, calling from Dubai. Dubai, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to commend the uh, show, you know, it's, you know, it's, uh, these are the kind of things we are missing in Nigeria. You know, it's just like uh, we have been blind, blindfolded by uh, what has been going on for the years, but if you see the ideas, is coming up with, then it's something that we in Nigeria need to embrace. Because, you know, we have come to this state without even listening to the truth anymore. Look at our government. Look at our laws. No life is in the 
country. How do we move forward if we don't have all those things? How can a politician come and give you rights to vote for them? That means that right they are giving you and the money they are giving you, they will take it back when they move into power. But this young man has come with ideas that will help the Nigeria people to move forward. I'm sick and tired of living outside Nigeria. There's no place like home. So, you know, we need to listen to the idea this young man is coming on board with. He used to be in America. He leave America to come to Nigeria to support this, co this country to move forward. I think it's a time we need to start saying the truth. And the media needs to support this cause. But the fact is that the media are not reporting what is going on in the country. There's a killings everywhere. When will this stop? When we have the wrong... I just pray that God will help this country because there's no place like our country. We are blessed with everything. But we have the people suffering in that country. I pray that God will help this country to move forward. It, it hurts me every time seeing people dying of hunger. You go to hospital, you can't get an ordinary drug to treat yourself. And all your children are in a drug enjoy it. Come to this country to buy it. See how they are wasting our resources in this country. I pray that God will help us and open our eyes to see that these elders have nothing to offer us. May God bless Nigeria. Amen. So keep it up. We love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy New Year, brother. Thank you. Okay. The number is 0181-999-1011. Hello. Can you please stay away from your radio? Yes, sir. I'm away. Okay. Go ahead. What's the name? I'm very grateful with that guest. Yes. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, sir, but before you start, can you tell us your name and where you're calling from? We need to know that. All right, sir. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Oh, it chose to drop. You can still call back. Hello? Hello? Hello, sir. Good morning. Yes, he's there. He's, yes, he's, he's here live, but okay. My name is Kevin. I'm calling from Sweden. Wow. Okay, from Sweden. Yeah. All right, Kelvin, yeah, go ahead. Mm. Thank you. 
so much for, for, okay, for okay, coming. Okay, 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 my... For coming. Yeah, and thank you for coming to bless you. Thank you, Calvin. Happy New Year. Hello? Hello? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. My name is Rabiu. I'm calling from Kado. Okay, Rabiu from Kado. Please, Kado, yes, speaker. please go ahead. You don't have more than 20 seconds. Yes, okay. I supported him, my brother. He's letting him keep up with all the good things that he has in his mind. Mm. But what if he can stop him to be thinking like him? Let him keep it up. After when he got married, he'll stop. Then he can come and Yes, Rabiu, Rabiu. Thank you very much, Rabiu. Yes. Mm, we are our last caller this morning, and uh, we just have uh, a few seconds left. Yes. And I want you to address, I want to take it up from where Rabiu left. Yes. Um, the way it's going now, my elections can go either way. Yes. But to be honest, a lot of people are not giving people like you a lot of chances this time around. However way, whichever way it ends, are you going to... I mean, what happens if you lose? Uh, there's no losing in this election. I don't see how people cannot wake up in 41 days and change the direction of their lives. You see, people tell me all the time, what about we wait till 2023? And my question is simple. What gave you the impression that you will live up to 2023 under this regime, under the circumstances that we have now? So if you have a choice to live a great life and live beyond 2023 because of the new government that is coming that will put uh, things in place that will enhance your lifestyle, that will enhance your longevity, why won't you go for it? rather than vote for a, uh, a bunch of politicians that are not going to fix the roads that would destroy your life the way they've been doing it or make your life miserable. Yes, we do, I think we do people understand. need to overcome their cynicism that it is possible we do to vote these guys out and that we're here to rescue the country. There's no need to be cynical about it. People have registered to vote. You have your PVC. While well, our party is number three on the ballot paper, it's even easier to vote for us than to be looking for the failed parties at the bottom of the ballot paper. Vote for the party that will rescue you. Vote very quickly, uh, fast, mm. and ensure that uh, by 12 noon that day or even by 5 p.m. you have a new, brand new president and no, but, a brand but, new country. Okay, thank you. But um, that color is a fundamental issue. It's, it's driven by cynicism. It's, it's fine. People no, said, it, people it, said it, it's election. It's election. Even the best of candidates lose election. That's exactly so the point. It, should it not work your way this time around? Is is that all? No, With not at all. And you, look, I've been uh, I've been involved in politics, but not partisan politics. Since I was since 1989 at the University of Lagos. I'm I'm part of all the people that fought for democracy, fought, and I'm still fighting. So. How could that happen? What was I report as a political newspaper? Mm. It's part of an advancement of my political engagement with Nigerian people. In one or two sentences, yes. how can we aggregate the energies of those of you who are new forces this time around? We, we hope that it will come around. I think it's obvious and clear to the new forces who the main new force is at this point. We are the only ones who, within nine months, created a, a movement then have our own political party. Our party was announced with 23 other political parties. We are not hearing about it. We even met somebody yesterday who is a mainstream politician who said there are only three contestants in Nigerian presidential election, Buhari, Atiku, and Shawore. I'm not making it up. That's what the polls are saying out there. That's what people are talking about. But vote for the right person. Don't vote for the old cargos who are not going to take you anywhere. Okay. Vote for people with fresh ideas, new ideas. And you can do it, Nigerians. You can do it. Just do the right thing, as they say with Nike. Just now, do it. Yes. Now, now, now you are campaigning. 
Yes. And uh, I, will not be, I, will not, I will not be surprised they've, if you if you get a bill from the marketing this, department. This, they've lifted the, the banner campaign. So we're, we're in, presidential we're, candidate of uh, the AAC, Omoya Leisho. Right. Thank you very much for coming for extra this morning. We wish you all the best of luck in your campaign, and we wish you further luck in the election. Keep it up, like people have said. Thank you very much, listeners, for staying tuned again this morning. We'll do it again tomorrow. My name is Deron Fadi. Have a wonderful day.